Hi, Sai Vinay. Hi, sir. Hearty congratulations to you. Thank you, sir. You Thank are you the All India Rank 37 in Gate Data Science and Artificial Intelligence paper. Yes, sir. So it is really incredible achievement because below 100 rank is very nice, 37. Uh, could you please share your experience and what is your background? Which background do you studied in BTEC? And what is your journey in this success? Okay. Could you please explore yourself? Yes. So I, I did my BTEC in mechanical engineering and I worked in Aita Billa group for a few years. So while working there, uh, I realized this is not my cup of tea. So and then while I was exploring new new areas where to further study, and then I got into machine learning or artificial intelligence. And when Gate introduced the DA paper last year, and I checked the syllabus and everything, and I saw that there's the mathematics and everything, which I had a clear interest in mathematics and all. So I decided to get, take the uh, Gate DA paper. Excellent, Saivinay. Actually, your background is mechanical. You haven't yes. studied data science artificial intelligence paper in BTEC. You studied mechanical no, branch, right? Yes, sir. Even worked in mechanical area. You studied mechanical and you worked in the real time industry in mechanical background, but you have yes. applied for getting data science artificial intelligence and achieved 37 rank. It is really yes. wonderful. Okay. We are, we are, we all are proud of you. Okay. Thank you. Sir. Yeah. And uh, I have one more question like, uh, in your uh, journey, how this Ace Engineering Academy plays a vital role to achieve all in the rank 37 in your preparation? Yes, sir. And since the DA paper is new to me, in the many topics like data structures and database management, machine learning, these are, these are completely new topics for me. I have never seen those topics before. So Ace Academy helped me to uh, uh, gain a uh, uh, Ace Academy helped me to gain interest in those topics and gain knowledge in those topics. And right from the basics, they taught everything with the PYQs and many example solutions and everything. So it helped me to learn about those topics. Excellent, Savinay. Have you attended offline coaching or online coaching? Online coaching. Sir. Online coaching. Very nice. And actually, see, uh, in online coaching, daily we are conducting almost three to four hours class, right? Yes. Yeah, then how did you manage the remaining time? Apart from the coaching hours, how did you manage the remaining time to achieve this rank? So for the remaining time, uh, whatever, if any topics were already covered before, I used to revise them and used to uh, read any, if there is any textbooks related to that, I used to read them. So I want to get complete idea about the every topic. So I used to do that. And also solving the test series, PYQs, everything I did for that. Does it mean that you did self-assessment by solving PYQ questions on each and every topic? Yes, yes. Uh, every question I used to solve them, whatever I, those questions are getting wrong, I used to go to every question to check where I'm doing wrong. So I'm, it helped me rectify myself. Excellent. Uh, actually, Saivinay, while solving PYQ questions or mock test papers, generally what I noticed from the past many years, if any question, if student is unable to solve it, okay, he's automatically getting demotivated, right? Yes. Then how did you overcome this kind of uh, things in your preparation? So while writing mock tests, if, it, if I find that that question is taking more time, I used to leave that question for the end. After finishing all the questions, which, whichever the questions were the left, I used to go through this. I used to solve two mass question first and then go to one mark question and like that. I used to follow the pattern. Yeah, it means you are done preparation like uh, you are revising the whole paper two times, not one time, correct? Yes, yeah, in a way. Excellent. Excellent. And uh, uh, would you like to suggest some tricks and uh, tips for GATE aspirants for 2026? Uh, like you know, there are some people who are appearing for GATE 2026, right? Okay. Yes, would you please suggest some tricks and tips? I would say is uh, every every topic we have to start from the basics. Like instead of just uh, uh, reading formulas and all, we have to know how the, each formula came, how the for example if there is an algorithm, how the name came, everything. If you start from the basics and all, it really helpful in during the exam time. 
in the and what i observe is mostly da purpose of logic based not much of remembering the formulas and all so if we crack the logic and why their institution behind every question it really helps helpful for us good nice and actually if you see in mathematics we are having linear algebra topic and machine learning subject also most of the topics are related to linear algebra right yeah yes yeah while preparing linear algebra uh, subject uh, have you correlated with uh, machine learning subject or you have you prepared separately like how did you study linear no, algebra actually uh, uh, during the preparation i understood that these topics are not uh, interrelated yes uh, which are in machine learning those it has a base in these mathematics topics and all so i find we, while preparation is i found that there are many correlation between them and used to uh, connect those two dots and all it's it actually helped me to prepare in much easier way very nice so actually there are many subjects in your data science artificial intelligence like machine learning algorithm data structures and then artificial intelligence which subject do you uh, like uh, means which subject did you face more problems and how did you tackle those problems yes so actually uh, before uh, doing uh, preparing for the gate paper i have uh, idea some idea on mathematical topics but the programming like data structures algorithms and database management ai these are like completely new topics for me so in those topics i have uh, put extra effort on those topics and like in type from basics i have to go through every topic and not very nice so would you please give some suggestions like Uh, people who are appearing for gate 2026 in as engineering academy okay and what is your uh, like suggestions and tips for them i would say uh, uh study each topic in right from the basics and solve prqs write many mock as mock tests as possible and it will be really helpful to know where we are doing wrong it will help to uh, it will help to cut the mistakes Fine. What is your future goal after completion of MTech? Would you go for R and D department or uh, would you like to work in a real time industry? What is your future goal? After completing MTech, I'm right now planning to go to the R and D side and all. Yeah, I'm interested in that aspect actually. So I'm thinking of that. So thank you so much, Sai Vinay. Okay, thanks for your valuable time. It is really incredible achievement what you have done. So on behalf of the entire AS Engineering Academy. so we are congratulating you once again so i wish you all the best thank you thank you so actually i want to say one more thing ah, about yeah. you sir uh, during my preparation journey there are many topics in uh, data science and algorithms i mean because it is da paper there used to be very less students in that since it is a new paper and there are few times in that i used to be the only student in like two through two students three students it used to be like that But you used to teach, uh, even though there are three like hundred, you used to your efforts used to be the like same. Right. I, I used to doubt few times like uh, maybe there are less people, maybe uh, uh, teachers will miss, will skip few topics, and I used to feel in that way. But you never did that. That actually helped me a lot during my preparation. Channel. My primary duty actually as a teacher. Either one student, a hundred student, a thousand student. I had to deliver every uh, topic. See, because you are one only one student, you attended. I delivered everything. You become a good ranker now. Correct or not? Yes. Yes. So this is actually big big achievement for us as a teacher. It is a big achievement for us also. Okay. God bless you. I think your parents really proud of you. Okay. Thank you. Sir. Yes. Sir. Yes. Thank you. Sir.